Okay. I have two students that I'm recognizing tonight. Oh, here we come. Come on, Maddox. Come on up. <laughs> Yay. You made it. Yes. <laughs> Stand right here. Um, so I have two students that I am recognizing. We are a TK through eighth grade site. And so the first student that I would like to recognize is Maddox, or Maddox Thibodeau. Maddox is a TKer. He has been with us since October, and he has worked really hard at um, a lot of skills. He is the bright, shining star that comes in in the morning and welcomes everybody. So I would like to thank his mom, Tristan Payton, who she is um, out of town, but we have someone watching him, and so they got him here on time, so thank you. Um, Maddox will be attending Turtle Bay or a local charter school next year. He has earned his, um, he has earned great uh, stars this year and is doing excellent. So his favorite subject is reading and he loves playing basketball, either outside or inside with Legos or other board games. His, um, who has had the biggest impact on him is his mom and his grandmother. He also really loves the staff and his teachers, Mr. Thorpe and Ms. Manley, especially Ms. Manley, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, who he waits for every morning. He wants to know if she's there. Um, Maddox has worked really hard this year, learning how to share, take turns, ask for help, and has grown academically in all subjects. He is kind, helpful, polite, and he is very smart. So congratulations. Uh, the second person I would like to acknowledge is Corey Morris. Corey Morris is a seventh grader at our school. He has been there uh, since the beginning of the school year. Uh, I'd like to thank his parents, Brad and Kayla, and his brother, Brandon, for be or Brayden, for being here. Brayden, sorry, for being here. Thank you. Um, Corey will be coming to Sequoia next year, and he's looking forward to playing basketball. His favorite part about Reading Achieve is Mr. Harris and the staff and getting to play basketball. His favorite subject is science, and his least favorite is math. Um, again, outside of school, basketball, there's a lot of basketball players in here, so. <laughs> uh, in college, he's not sure yet what he wants to focus on, but he does want to focus on middle school and doing the best he can there. He is also interested in a career in woodworking, so that's exciting. Um, the biggest impact in his life has been Mr. Harris and his parents, all who have been super supportive of him. Corey is a true standout at Reading Achieve. He has been maintained at level five longer than any student at all, ever, <laughs> in history. So he is also, <laughs> it's a huge accomplishment. He has also maintained a 4.0 his whole time at Reading Achieve. And he is our all-star student, so he will be attending the all-star breakfast on Friday as well. He is a good role model for his peers and encourages them to also be better versions of themselves. There has not been a day when Corey has not completed all of his um, classwork. He is kind, considerate, hardworking, a good friend, a leader, and a good basketball player. Corey always has a smile on his face and a positive attitude. I have never seen this suit at one time um, come in other than positive and looking forward to the day. So congratulations, Corey. Good work. Congratulations. We're gonna look at the hand and take a picture. Oh,